Hello everyone. It seems as if uh, if they don't blame Ibu or blame Peter or be in this country, never nothing ever gets uh, gets well for them or they don't feel good. They need to always have something that they can blame either the Igbo people, they can blame Peter or B and blah 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 blah. Nigerians say they are uh, doing protests. And from the little I have seen, no, I've not seen much, I've seen little because I've really not been online in the last few uh, 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 weeks. Oh, that I've, been, I've not really been feeling fine. I've, I've really not been on online. I've, I'm sure in the last like 15 days, I was completely, uh, for like, is it 15 or 12 days, I was completely offline, didn't know what was happening. But the little I've seen, I've seen the protests that have been going on. People who have said they want to protest is mainly coming from the northern part of the country. Uh, a lot of uh, people from the northern, uh, fellow citizens from the northern part of the country, I say they want to protest because of the things that are happening in Nigeria, the hardship, the whatever. Me, I'm there just generally looking at like, eh, eh. the protests that they insulted me for, they say protest was haram, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a good Muslim, I should do this, I should remove my hijab, I should leave Islam, blah, 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 because I was saying that people should stand up for their rights and protest. So now I'm seeing that they are saying, eh, hey, like I say protest is no longer haram, so I'm like, eh, hey, I'm just watching. Then so, but the main thing, and, and there have been a different cause, how all of a sudden, how all of a sudden, they are now saying that, oh, it's Peter B that is planning protests, it's, it's Igbo people that are planning protests, it's IPOP that are planning protests. I'm like, how? Because everything in Nigeria is that whatever it is that is going wrong, the easiest thing to do is always to blame the Igbo people. I mean, Igbo people are sort of like, uh, what's that? Is that? It's an English word or they have for something like that. I can't remember what the word is right now that everybody, so you want to look, look for something that you will blame. Ah, it's Igbo people, it's Igbo people. I don't even understand the craziness and the nonsense that goes on. But anyway, before I go on too, too much, let me look for someone who causes, I don't even know what job does that buy on Nanuga. I know he has one appointment uh, with Tinibu's illegitimate uh, government, but whatever it is directly, uh -huh, I can't even, let me see, did he even write it on his bio? Uh, what is this? Okay, special advisor information and strategy uh, to Tinibu. <laughs> <laughs> when I see people selling their souls for things like a special advisor to PA to a bikini senior special advisor. Okay, he's, in his own case, it's not even senior special advisor. Let me go and check. It's just special advisor because there's also senior special advisor and all of that. People just debasing themselves, selling themselves, you know, turning themselves to all sorts of all manner of things because... But anyway... This is what he had to say. It's a long read, so I'm going to try and go through it and read it. He said, revealed. Peter Obi's supporters are the people planning mayhem in Nigeria. Obi should be held responsible for anarchy. So all of, so he, had, he has already concluded that there's, there's going to be mayhem, right? So he knows something that I'm sure these people who are planning the protest do not do not know know ab about so they he, and it's already asking that you know Peter Obi should be held responsible. You hear that dog bar? Anytime I'm doing video, that dog is always barking. That dog, that dog, that dog. Anyway, back to my video. <laughs> ah, even people don't suffer for ninja. They said they wanted to go. They will say, what? They said they wanted to go. You people said, no, you don't want them to go. You ended up killing their people. You ended up doing all sorts of things. For me, it, that uh, hunger, that using food to starve people is the most heinous thing anyone can do. And you came back. You took away, literally took away everything. Gave them, is it 20 pounds or whatever, per family or whatever. They grew. Half a, half a century, they took it, they grew, they bounced back, they didn't complain, they continued. Yet, you don't want to let them be. If you don't want something, let them go now. We shall be saying this small thing, any small thing. Anyway, shall, let me come back. He said, don't be fooled 
The malcontent planning to state nationwide process are supporters of Peter Obi, the field presidential candidate of the Labour Party, according to him. And he should be held responsible for whatever crisis emanates from the action. The protest planners are also the same people who were instigated by APOB leader Namdi Kanu to launch the destructive ENSAS protest in Nigeria in October 2020. And what is very ironic about this whole thing was that in October, in that same October 2020, this same Onanuga had done a tweet where he was saying, you know, he was talking about the fact that the Nigerian government was you know trying to work with the NSA, but they also remember that police brutality, uh, police uh, extrajudicial killings was what led to Boko Haram, the killing of the leader of Boko Haram that we are still suffering from. So all of a sudden now it's Nam the Kano, Nam the Kano that instigated the NSA's protest. <laughs> you see how they change history to suit them. What he said in October 2020 was different. What he's saying in, uh, in July 2024, totally different. Just to just because to be able to get those basic special assistant job. Special assistant job, not job. Lord have mercy. The protesters are uh, planners are also the same people who were instigated by Apple leader Namdi Kanu to launch the destructive ENSAS protest in Nigeria in October 2020. NSAS began as a genuine protest uh, by youth against the police special anti robbery squad notorious for its high-handedness. IPOP members planning to extricate the southeast region from the Nigeria infiltrated the protest and hijacked it for their own agenda. Lagos still bears the scars of the malicious destruction by IPOP elements up to date. This is what they're saying. How did uh, IPOP enter NSAS? NSAS was Nigerian. You tired of Nigerian killing? Happened across the country, the country before they started using this thing to divide and started telling the, the northern you that oh they shouldn't be part of it and, and all of that so how in whatever name is answers now being made to look like an ipop teen an Igbo teen or whatever thing that it is that these people it's just all sorts of craziness anyway uh, two years after NSAS, the IPOB and the Gullible Innocents joined the Labour Party in 2022 to support Peter be a sympathizer of their cause. The same IPOB people that, that don't do election, that ask people to stay out. They are the people spreading the hashtag End Bad Governance, Tinubu Must Go, and Revolution 2024. They are not Democrats, but anarchists. They are attempting to call out our people via propaganda because their Messiah Peter will be failed to win the presidency of the 2023 election. So I want to ask, is it also this their Messiah Peter will be that has led to uh, Tinubu being such such a failure that, that even to find the word that qualifies a failure, it's, it's almost like impossible because calling him a failure is actually insult to failure. Someone who has failed so woefully, someone who has been abysmal in his performance, someone who hasn't done anything, someone who has thrown the country into chaos, someone that has thrown the country into anarchy that is currently, if they are already anarchy in Nigeria, Abuja literally terrorists are entering and abducting people within the city of Abuja where the illegitimate uh, president, the former governor of uh, Lagos State, resides. And yet, Onanuga is focused on another person who he said didn't win the election. If somebody didn't win the election, he's not that important. Why the heck are you then focused on him? Why? <laughs> They would. Uh, he said, uh, as bad losers, they don't have the patience to wait for another election in 2027. They would rather destabilize Nigeria by staging a civilian coup against Bola Metini. A mic pami, a be a mic pami, a be was that pami that was happening when a uh, uh, Tinibu was driving in Lagos. Was that also Peter Obi that said it? Hunger, hunger. They did. They talk to people. Peter Obi doesn't even need to talk to anybody. It's hunger that is talking to people. If they understand the meaning of their hashtag, they will realize they are clarion clause for treason. Wanting to end an elected government is high treason. Wanting revolution is a call for coup d'etat, which is also high treason. Yes, even Tinibu entered through coup d'etat, the civilian coup d'etat, rigging election is also coup d'etat. And if citizens are tired of government, citizens are the government. Citizens are the ones with the power. They have a right to say, no, we don't want you, and we want you to leave. And that is a right that they do have. 
He said, I've been on the trail of one of the protest planners who is, a, who is nameless, but claims to have an internet radio station, PTM 100.8 at Abuja. The anonymous person joined X in August 2022 and has 520 followers today, among who are F.S. Yusuf, another rabid OB supporter and Professor Patu Tommy, a Labour Party chief, and a guy on S who goes by pseudonym Peter Obi's first son. <laughs> PTN's profile image has someone holding the inscription Certificate Forger, Not My President, with a photo of Peter B as an insect. Only OB supporters will be talking about Certificate Forger long after the Supreme Court dismisses the allegation. So why are you pained? Why are you not focused on governance? I thought you said the election is over. Why are you people not giving people good governance, accountability, and transparency? Why are you focused on Peter B? Why are you focused uh, on Igbo people? Why don't you do your thing? You understand? I are we saying that Igbo people don't have a right to contest? They don't have a right to have someone who is competent, who has character capacity being supported by all Nigerians winning the election, even though he was rigged out. He, he went the legal way. He went his own way. You think if Peter Obi really wanted a protest to be done, he would have called for it immediately after you know, the rigging that happened. But he said, no, he went, you know, he went through the the, 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 the law. And, and then you're here just crying and just, ah, in short there. They say, okay, uh, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot, in short, there's a lot. Yeah, reading it is just even a, a, a waste of time. You just have fail When failure, don't know what to do. They blame, they blame people. That's that's what they are just doing.